Hey guys, just a quick one. I realised that I didn't do a video for the mini branch to look at the camera projection tag where I wanted to create a functionality to allow you to go between um, orthographic and perspective. So if I'll just, I'll just get it for you, you can see what I mean. So what I did was really simple, directly underneath the zoom in, zoom out code. I just uh, I've used the hash symbol, so I had to be the toggle, and it's on a flip flop. So yeah, perspective, then orthographic, then perspective, orthographic, back and forth. It starts at orthographic. That's why I've done a flip flop rather than saying what is it now. Do the opposite. So I'll just show you how it works. Not perfect yet, but uh, so firstly, put the light on. You know, so you, that's how it kind of looks in the dark. Put the light on. See, you'll like this. When you turn it off, the light's on and off, just like that in off graphic at the moment. If you go to perspective. You see how it turns off? It turns off different, like it takes, it's like a diffuse or something. So I'll go to another level. Um, okay, so back to orthographic because it does love loads. So this is perspective. So you can see the, the difference. So some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. I'm in the middle of doing a lighting branch, that's why the, the lighting looks different. I think you'll like it. So the main thing to be conscious of is the walls. You see, like these are nearly the same size because I've like I put a bit of effort into level them out. And also, um, yeah, space as well. So with orthographic, you've only kind of got so much space or at least you can give the illusion that there's only so much space uh, you also see that the lighting loses its range as well in orthographic which it doesn't lose its range in perspective it's one of the reasons why i like it um, i will huh why is that not working interesting uh the the shutter should be should be doing its thing but it's not it might be because the chair is blocking it so i can't get to it let's uh, let's see but i've also put, uh, here we go no huh but yeah that's that's how it looks i will create it as a proper option when the game's finally released well i should say i will support it because it's already created um it'll be it'll give a nice angle you'll be able to see things differently maybe maybe i'll have some puzzles which in orthographic that's a good idea actually in puzzles of orth orthographic you can't really tell the difference you go to perspective and maybe they align different so what i mean by that is resident evil 7 the house there's puzzles where you need to rotate things in the light and given its perspective to you depends on how the light uh, the light shadow affects it uh, to do the puzzle something like that where but instead but instead the puzzle is essentially the camera rather than the item you're trying to uh, rotate round, something like that. So I think that'd be cool. You know what we'll do while we're here, just out of curiosity, let's see why that doesn't work. Light switch. Hmm. Let's pop it there. Oops. 
Am I pressing the right buttons? Am I just going crazy? I'm pressing the wrong button. Ignore me. The left alt, right alt thing also works as sneak at the moment. That's that's for controlling the the exposure of the recreation room. This one. Oh, I don't want to say this. One sec, one sec. Let me fix what I've broken. Um, this controls the exposure, like uh, like I said in the branch, uh, the one a couple before this one, you can see it on the right of the screen, um, a bit like sunshine when he's looking at the exposure to look at the sun. Okay, so that's solved that issue. In terms of what I'm working on next is the lighting branch, which I'll probably get done tomorrow. Uh, there's a bunch of cool stuff, so I think you'll think you really like it. And then nav mesh, just tweak the nav mesh to look at because I've I've, I've changed the the floor. I guess from the game's perspective, the floor width. So I just need to make sure the nav mesh is working on everything. Armor. Finally, going to be adding in armor into the game. Uh, it's sure I've said it before in other branches but armor's just like real life armor armor might protect might be better at protecting you from kinetic damage than say shock damage you're still gonna get electrocuted I imagine so uh, that so it'll have its it'll have its benefits it'll have, it'll have weight with it so it'll weigh you down uh, so there's just you know like if you've got really heavy armor it might be harder to aim. Things like that. Quirks like that. Sarah's bathroom, which is it's in addition to the game map. It's not actually on the initial story or the game map I created. But I'll add it in. Same goes for the communal bathroom. That's not in on the story or the game. So I might need to do I'll come up with some events in the story. Like do a, almost like a oh not a director's cut, but like an expansion to the story, to you know, for for events if any events happen in there. Certainly the communal bathroom, and the normal maps, I will be painting them. Um, currently, looks like oh, this, and I just do scripts edge normal. Let me just pick. Here we go. Scripts, oh, edge normal, there, not ideal. So I want to, in Photoshop, rather than just doing this edge normal script, I'm going to, well, I haven't got the colours, but I can't remember the breakdown, but there's four colours. So these are pretty much showing the full colours, so you see like pink is right, Green is bottom, and then there's like teal color, which is left, and then this is I think that's top. I can't remember. There's a little circle on mine to tell you how to do it, and what I'll need to do is I'll need to paint it. So, oh, just for example, so let's say we get underneath the light, if we go back might be something like like that and then you go like that so then when the, whoops so when the lights on it that will have a different reflective surface and it essentially makes it look awesome there was it was kind of none of this and then there was bump maps and then there was normal maps that kind of taken over bump map Certainly, the like the higher quality version of it, and I'll be I'll be adding that in because as as you can see here, I've already drawn the diffuse texture. I now I just need to hand draw the normal, and that will really make everything pop. Uh, really, just make it look fantastic. Because right now, any decent lighting you're seeing is <laughs> through through. Uh, 
look, well not look, but you know, that edge normal thing is like a blunt instrument, but lighting is, needs like a surgical instrument, like a, a precise touch. So that'll really come into it, it'll really look fantastic. That's, yeah, that, that probably will be G, uh, July, actually. And yeah, it won't be long. Tomorrow I should get the lighting one done. I'm going. I'm having to go through each one of the rooms, so there's a bunch of stuff to do. But it it does make it uh, visually better, like noticeably physically better, and some cool features to do it, like flickering lights and turning on lights manually or turning them off manually. Um, I won't go on too much, but cool ideas where maybe you can't get to the light switch and there's a bunch of zombies and some zombies work with sight, some work with sound, some work with both. I might get one to work with touch as well as there's, there's the cool little senses options in the the AI blackboards. So what you could do is let's say you're on the, the right side of the room here and I guess in this case, you could, um, if you could get to it, you could lower and darken it that way, and then you could take advantage of sight and darkness. But let's say there's no, you're not in the recreation room. <clears throat> the light switch is to the left there. Zombies all around. There's no chance you can get by them, you're going to die. Essentially, what you could do is, you won't be able to do it on this, because I won't be able to reach it created a function where just like you press L with the light switch if you can get high enough to the light you can turn it off but well, obviously I can't get high enough because I haven't stacked anything high enough but you'll see you'll see in the branch it does work works in the guard post and stuff so cool little ideas like that way just like in real life if you need to hide from someone well you splinter cell would have you shoot the lights out I'm of the approach where you could just loosen the bulb, you know, if you wanted to, in this case. So the L would make the specific light toggleable on and off, rather than the array of lights wired up to the light switch. And, yeah, but I'll need to add in extra stuff where if you turn it off manually on a light specifically, that it gets excluded from the light switches on and off because you've taken the light bulb out i've just given myself extra work so i'm going to stop talking <laughs> but thank you for your time and should be tomorrow maybe early thursday but in reality probably mid wednesday thank you for your time and i'll see you later